In terms of our model lineup, this snowmobile is designed on the very extreme end for deep snow and off-trail boondocking and movability. And there's a few key features that we went after when we designed this new suspension. One was maneuverability, two was weight, and three was flotation and traction. We're about 12 pounds lighter on this vehicle. We got the 165, so we got a little more track on the snow. Um, the way the suspension is designed, it stays really clean. We're not carrying a lot of snow with us. And that was one of the key design features of the suspension. The way that the suspension works, it allows the track to kind of find flotation. It allows the track to conform to the ground, variations in snow density, and always put the largest footprint down with an even pressure. So we find a really good increase in flotation and traction in the deep snow. It's a new revision of our power claw design you know, we've been working on for many years with Campso. Uh, it's a three and a half pitch. We stretch the pitch out. Three inch paddle. The paddle's been redesigned to take weight off. Um, kind of optimized again for the deep snow. And the track itself is all new. Uh, the internal construction, it's got full width rods. It's a 15 by 165 on this model. Uh, the full width rods provide support to the track when it's being supported from above by the rail in the middle. Spreads the load out to the entire width of the track and again going after flotation. You can see the way the suspension moves, it tries to leave the track on the ground as much as possible and allow the track to find its own flotation point. You know, our running boards stay fairly clean. We don't carry a lot of ice on the tunnel. This takes it one step further. You know, we're not carrying that snow in the skid frame. It's not getting stuck between the rails. It sheds out the side, comes out the back of the track, uh, keeps the ride weight down. You know, we lose a lot of weight, 30, 40, 50 pounds of snow in the skid, depending on conditions. And we're not carrying that with us when we're out here maneuvering and turning back uphill. The rolling resistance, of course, is much reduced. Um, it has a really wide sweet spot for for when you are on edge or when you're rolled over on the side, side hilling. So the Alpha 1 is basically our, our top of line mountain cat. It has the QS3 float shocks. You know, all our mountain sleds have the weight saving and improvements that we've done. The Alpha 1 just goes that one step further.